Welcome everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon, and we'll be playing Phantom Doctrine. Completely blind, absolutely blind. Um, <laughs> I've, I've played this game for one minute, and I can't really say play, because I've only went to the options screen to set everything up, and recorded the main menu for a couple of seconds to see if it uh, records normally. Anyway, this game was given to me by the uh, publisher, uh, or the developer, uh, for review purposes, but we'll be sort of reviewing this game in a let's play because well It looks quite interesting, and it's an XCOM type ish game. Let's start a new game So yeah, just so you know, uh, you know, I'll have to get used to the game and see what's what Because well, I don't know regular play the standard storyline of Phantom Doctrine extended in-depth Wow why can't I do this? Full game functionality of Phantom Doctrine, but the narrative is simpler to follow. Why can't I do... Extended? That's a bit of a shame. I can't start with that. I suppose I have to uh, finish the game first. Easy. For players who are new to turn-based tactical strategy games, medium the difficulty intended is the benchmark Phantom Doctrine experience, or ramped up difficulty for those seeking extra challenge. Body disposable unavailable. Ugh. Okay. I'll start on medium then. Right, enable tutorial, a short mission representing basic game features. We should do that. Iron Man mode, you cannot save or load manually. I have a really bad experience with Iron Man mode in XCOM games, so we're gonna stay away from that. We're, we'll play Iron Man anyway, just I don't want the game forcing no saves because, well, crashes and everything about. Subtitles will keep on all. Next. CIA. Oh, background. A character setup. Oh, so you create your own character, I suppose, as well. Huh. Codename. Deadpan. As elite uh, CIA wet war commando. Unravel a conspiracy set in the middle of war, uh, middle of war torn Beirut and beyond. KGB. Codename. Kodiak. Uh, hunt traitors of the motherland as a highly decorated KGB counterintelligence operative. Locked. Interesting. Different backgrounds feature separate openings with different tactical missions, objectives, and a different perspective on the opening of the story of Phantom Doctrine. Feel free to start with either. That's interesting. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, even the passport changes. That's cool. Obviously, this is, um... I think towards the end of the Cold War is when this game happens. So you've got the, um... USSR here. Alright, let's start with CIA. Daniel Lopez. This is, this is the real name. Well, obviously, let's start with this. Male, female. Oh no, it changes your name. Oh, it keeps the name there. That's cool. That's a lot of uh, portraits. This guy. That is a lot of portraits. I cannot see. Are they painted or are they sort of... I think they're sort of reworked photos. I'm not sure. That one's for one big fat guy. Uh, right, let's just pick something. Kind of like this one, really. Uh, yeah, I think that will do. Alright, let's create physique. Why are we creating our own character? I thought it was going to be a uh, XCOM esque style face preset, James. Huh. Uh, I'll probably keep it on James. Skin color. That's pretty cool. Alright. Ice color. Blue. No, it's, I don't know. Let's do it like this. Body type. Average. Slim. Stocky. Or athletic. Ah, we'll do average. <laughs> I'll lie to myself and say I'm average. Side parting. Oh, this is... Whoa! Holding, receding hair, brush down. Okay, let's see. Slope back. Bogart. Probably something like Bogart. Black, facial hair, clean shaven. Where's the shaven stuff? Okay, right, just... Keep it clean shaven. Clothes! Wow, we can have everything. Desk jockey. I do like the turtleneck. It's kind of cool. 
Or maybe a suit jacket. If we're gonna be in charge of the whole thing. Flanel. Windbreaker. Um. Yeah, turtleneck. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Formal pants. Cargo pants. Suit pants. Hmm. Formal trousers. Chinos. Wow, they use pants and trousers interchangeably. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's keep it like that. Everything must be black, of course, because we're a black ops operative or something. I'll keep it without gloves. Hikers. Oh, shoes. Oxfords. Derbies. There. There we go. No. Yeah, fine. There. Alright. Next is headgear. Are we gonna have a hat? Military cap. Fedora. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I have a dark fedora with a... Ugh. What? That changes the hair. I thought it was gonna change this. Okay. Eyewear. Whoa. You can see we're in the 80s. Alright. None attachments. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, your piece. That's cool. Uh, scars. We're gonna have no scars. Skull dagger. Oh, tattoos. Um, none. Alright, excellent. What? Why can't I go next? But I have to choose something? What? Oh, start game. Okay. Alright, let's see what this is all about. The events you are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. Oh. Hello there. That's the, uh, that's the logo of the Phantom Doctrine. This is Golf Yankee Juliet Uniform, reporting contraband seized. <clears throat> Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Что? Показать расшифровку. А быстрее! Немедленно послать в Москву! Немедленно! We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. Am I succeeded? First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. Um, okay. Tutorial Operation Threshold, East Berlin. Briefing High Value Cargo hijacked by British Agent Kingfish to redeploy in UK. Run recovery ops. Phase 1. Enter British sector in FRG. Collect necessary forms from secured location. Activate sleeper asset, Rook. Further orders to be disclosed in due course. Handler Valhalla. Reach the sleeper agent and activate his control phrase. Oh, that's cool. Uh, steal shipping manifests. Evacuate on the other side of the border. All right. Let's uh, continue. Ooh, I like the graphics. 
I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Okay, then, well, I suppose that's one sort of document. There's no cover! Ugh. The locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with it? Who could forget that handsome face? Oh, I see. Okay, so the tutorial, I suppose, is us playing not as our character and the whatever secret organization, but these evil guys, I'm assuming. In infiltration stage, guards will only react if you do something suspicious. Move to the indicated position with right mouse button. You're safe for now. Okay. Hello. Okay, so it's the same two action... Most action cost action points. Some actions, especially combat related, can also cost fire points. I see. Phantom Doctrine is a turn based game, so when all your agents' points are depleted, end your turn. Okay. That's cool. So you can double move and then shoot. Uh, and turn. I like the UI. It's quite clean and nice. Be extra careful when entering a restricted area, red zone. If the guards see you, he'll call the alarm. Okay. Skip the rest of the turn and the guard will continue his patrol. Move the cursor over a character to preview their patrol path. Okay. Use Q and E to rotate the camera for convenience. Okay, it's a free camera. It, it works quite nicely. All right. Um, why can't I move there? Do I have to open the doors first? Um, do I have to move the camera to get rid of this thing? I haven't selected. Um, steel shipping manifests. Um, I'm confuzzled. Why won't you move? Okay, he's not gonna move anywhere. What? Oh, I see. He wants us to move there. Alrighty. Let's see. Trespassing. Avoid cameras. They will trigger the alarm if you cross their cone of vision. Cameras can be disabled if you find a CCTV central unit. Oh, okay, so all this uh, red stuff is the camera. That's okay. So we need to get over there. And this is a left click here. And turn. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle myself. Disabled security features, uh, thing 8. What was the 8 for? Score? Infiltration. Enter the main building. Um. Okay. Not staying in cover. Enemy agent. Oh, use the control phrase from the abilities menu. Takes control over an enemy agent subjected to control phrase. That's cool. Agent Rook. Fire points and cooldown three. Are you sure? Wow. That's crazy. So he has been sort of psychologically programmed. Uh, sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere. Go up the stairs, use mouse wheel to change floors, then select the target tile. Uh, 
Guards can be taken down silently, provided their HP is lower than that of the attacker. Okay, these guys have 35. Take down. Silently incapacitates the target whose HP is lower than that of the attacking agent. Non-lethal against civilians. Ouch. All characters have a certain level of awareness. It is used by select actions. For example, takedown. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge when shot at. Okay, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn and it can be raised by abilities and items. Okay. Okay, so this guy has pretty low awareness now. Use spotters support to lift fog of war and reveal enemies and civilians inside the indicated room. Note that support agents operate from a specific direction and must have line of sight fired to the target to be effective. Reveals fog of war. Uh, okay, he's... He's gonna move... What? How does that work? Oh, he's gonna go in there. Oh, I guess. I see. We've located the documents. Ooh. We'll have to breach the room. Don't worry. I'll clean the mess after you. Wait, how did that work? He wasn't even anywhere near the room. What? I thought you had to be inside a room or at least have line of sight. That's what it said, didn't it? Place your agents at the door. Oh, breach attack. Okay, so no ne not next to the door. I'll have to um, remember that this is not XCOM, so it works differently. Select the breach ability. Select the marked room for attack and confirmed. Breach confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Nearby agents move into the designated area and shoot any encountered hostiles. Suppress enemy overwatch. Uh, suppresses. Requires at least two agents with firing capacity. Right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. Okay. Okay, target lock. Right mouse button on enemies to lock them as targets. Um. I am. Um. So, breach order prepared. I'm confused. No. Okay. Know that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers the alarm and starts combat. Not really sure how that worked. Um, I didn't seem to be able to select or unselect targets. So, yeah. I'm not sure about that. Okay, that's where the documents are. An unsuppressed gun has been fired. Grab the documents from the safe. Go, go, go. Rock and roll. Call the evac. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Copy. Over and out. Runs until evac arrives. Set up Overwatch to guard the room. Um, shouldn't I get into cover? Are we gonna go through here? Set up guarded area. Enemies crossing the area will be shot. Okay. Move the agent to the window. Out of cover. <laughs> I'm still thinking in XCOM terms. Outside, know that long-range overwatch has a conical area of effect as opposed to the circular short-range overwatch. Okay. And turn. Well, hopefully nobody comes through this door because we only have this one covered. So that's interesting. Overwatch doesn't actually confirm a overwatch shot anywhere where the agent can see. It only... Whoa. Only confers an overwatch shot where you point them to. Nice. Combat 100%, minus 45. Whoa! Need me? Jump out the window and take cover. Cover reduces incoming damage. 
smash through the window. For one uh, FP, um, that's the movement point, right? And one AP, you can use the full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. Okay. Fire points. Action points. Okay. Fire the selected enemy with a hail of bullets, reduces target's awareness, and suppresses regeneration. West German customs. Let's do it. Wow. Uh, damage versus awareness. Phantom Doctrine has no random chance to hit. Whoa, okay. But attacks can deal varying amounts of damage. Presented as follows. Maximum damage, minimum damage. Okay, so maximum was 84, minimum was 54. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks, provided they aren't at point-blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A dodged attack deals minimum damage, else maximum damage. Okay, so it's either. It's not in between. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. An infiltration, uh, and at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always at zero, except for enemy agents who st uh, start with full awareness. Okay. Hide behind a full cover. Provides better protection than half cover. Okay, so that's, that is like in uh, XCOM, but it only reduces the damage. It doesn't actually confirm a lesser chance to hit from the enemy. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. Headshot. Fire the selected enemy with a devastating shot. Ignores cover protection, costs awareness. So we'll do 95 damage. And it costs 70 awareness. How much do you have? 80. Okay, that's a lot. Bang. I was kind of expecting a better bang there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really have to stop thinking in... XCOM terms. Because I'm thinking, oh no, we have to be in cover towards them, and, you know. When evac com uh, the evac is compromised, timer... Oh, evac compromised, timer elapses, you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. H however, that it does not affect mission success or failure. Okay, so we've got three terms before it is compromised. Mission objective complete. Go, go, go. I'm assuming this completely, I mean, ends the mission. Evacuate now. There you go. Nice. You have reached the end of the tutorial. Well, it's going to take some getting used to. We arrived in Pakistan to check up on their alleged nuclear program. We entered the mission area in disguise, but it isn't foolproof. Keep clear of high-ranking Pakistani troops. That's like Hitman. Do not engage unless they fire first. Confirm the existen existence of the fission device. Then evacuate before they know we were even here. All right, proof of the object. Evacuate upon completion of main objectives. Six weeks earlier. So this is how we started in... I don't know, CIA or something, I suppose. You really think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit? Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. Hazmat suits. 1983. Found a nice landing spot. I'll wait here until you call for evac. Good. Keep the comms to a minimum. Our disguise is pretty thin as it is. What if Leslie calls? I don't think he'll be joining us on this one. He's on the move. Wow, it's very quiet. I have to, uh... Let's do music, sound effects, and interface. There. And keep the cinematic and, uh... Actually, the voice volume up high. Alright, so the agent is disguised and can safely go anywhere without raising an alarm. A suspicious actress witnessed by the enemies or civilians will trigger combat. Enemy agents always see through disguise. Okay. So I can go anywhere. Should I take these guys out? Um, I don't know, I suppose not. Let's go. Deadpan. Oh, is that us? Um, next? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's us. I'm here. Durand. What do you require? Ah, there we go. Tab goes to the next one. Wait, I can go to this spot again? <laughs> that would be interesting. Canasta. It's a sandstorm. Oh yeah, of course, it doesn't end the activity, uh, end your turn automatically because uh, you still have fire points. Alright. I kind of wish I could peek in. Uh, I suppose I have to do awareness. No. Zen. Improves this character's awareness regeneration by 40% per turn. Last three turns and it's a two turn cooldown. Wow, so you can always use it. Vastly increase agent's chance of survival or allow more frequent ability use. That's pretty cool. What else do we have? Take down, pick up agents, stabilize, and focus. Equipment. Each medkit can be used only once per mission. They do not work on incapacitated agents. Okay. Smoke grenade. Clever use of smoke grenades can make it temporarily impossible for the enemy to attack your agents. There's breach. A French DAO. Simple shots. And full auto. Okay. Right, so does anyone have that ability where they can heartbeat sensor? Reveals enemies in the area of effect without having line of sight on them. Interesting. Side buildings locate enemies in nearby rooms. Blinding laser. Disables enemy overwatch and makes uh, enemies unable to fire actively. Blinding laser where you can't avoid enemy overwatches to reduce incoming damage from an enemy you won't be able to kill in one turn. Interesting. So what does she have? She's got exertion. Improve the movement range of the character by 2 per AP. Last two turns. Alright, so, I want... Uh -huh. yeah. I wish the abilities would stay open when I uh, tap through people. I suppose I need a heartbeat sensor. Um, gotta move a little closer, maybe. To make sure there's no agents in there. I don't think the game would do this to us. There you go. So we can, you know, freely go in. Oh, and that, that only costs awareness. It doesn't actually cost... Um, an action point or, you know, anything else. So what is that? Something to pick up? I suppose we have to take this guy down. And I don't think anyone can see us here, right? So... Let's take down... Soldier... Sorry! Alright, how do we get rid of the body now? Can we stuff him somewhere like in Hitman? Dispose of body. Hide killed or incapacitated enemies and civilians, preventing enemy guards from finding them and calling the alarm. Alright. Where do I put them now? What? What? He's gone. What, that's it? You just use the ability and clean it up? <laughs> Alright, well, hey. <laughs> that's a lot simpler than uh, looking for a place to hide them, I suppose. Classified. Oh, took a picture. That's cool. Alright, we can move a little bit further. But there's no doors. I thought there were doors there. And this is a window, isn't it? Let me save this. Save. Did it save? Yes, it did. Um, is this not going to... There's lasers here. What's gonna happen? Okay, just break through the window. Nobody cares, apparently. Enemy activity. There's gonna be an agent there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna trigger the alarms. How do we do this? Ah. Shut it off here, maybe. Or maybe there. Oh, there's more over here. I was only following this... Ooh, where are you going? I was only following this, uh... 
thing, but... Okay, go through here. Let's go shut that off. What? I can only move one at a time, it seems. What the? Laser barriers. There's definitely something valuable in here. Get rid of them before you stroll through one. Alright, we'll do that. Fortunately, um, thanks to the disguises, we can move freely. So, so I guess we have to spot the um, places where we have to take pictures of documents first. Why is that? That's also flashing. Disable laser barriers is optional, but I'm now wondering about that. What is that? Let's do exertion. Oh, okay. Mobility bonus. Let's run in there. See what that is. I thought I thought she was gonna run, but that's alright, because we're still infiltrating. Loot collected, bottle eight eight seventy Estrella, okay. So let's go in here. Go shut that thing off, and also let's uh, take that civilian down, I suppose. Maybe take both of the civilians down. So we'll need someone to be there to take him down, and someone else to hide the body. I suppose immediately. <laughs> anyway. I hope you're enjoying this uh, first part. It was a little bit slow going because, of course, it's a tutorial and everything. But the second part will be up in just a few moments, probably. So hopefully you're enjoying this. Please check out my Patreon while you're at it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Like the video and share it and all of that good stuff. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in part two of this completely blind playthrough of Phantom Doctrine. Bye-bye.